doesn't it, Hayden? I just bought it from him. You mean to say that you just up and bought this old truck? And now you're going to drive it off into a flood? And then you're going to go it's park it someplace? The truck I was driving quit on the highway. <laughs> Which what highway? No highway, this is a dirt road. You're not going to drive off in Mr. Haney's truck. There ain't a highway 50 miles from here. From him. I gave him my wedding ring. You mean to say you paid for this truck? Yes. Boy, you must have had a lot of sentiment. Did you show us the bill of sale. You were on your way. Please, I didn't sign any papers. I didn't have time. Well, I'm a lawyer, in that all case, right. You vacate yourself from personal property, and we'll take this truck back to Mr. Haney. Uh, I'm just going to call my notary and. Mr. Haney wouldn't happen to be your father in law, would he? Could be. Lover. Or yours? Second gay lover. You've got my ring, and I suppose you want the truck too. Get out. She's being clocked at speeds up to five. So apparently the dirt road magically turned into concrete. Jump to so late tumbling! Thanks for the ride, lady. Oh, my shoes are all turning. Where'd my cane go? <laughs> Thank God I got 25 feet away from him. Trains coming down a mountain, coming to wipe them out. Oh, great! Another flashback. This one's in color. Twenty-five years back in time, he was still old as ever. You know, I wonder if what he was doing with Griffey he was still this old. It's a packaging plant for ducks. It's Stephen Baldwin. <laughs> so you want me to get out of the way, or? Man, I, wish, I hope it's always the Stephanie's or I'll be in trouble. So, do we have a new main character? Or... Yeah, I want to follow this guy around. What's yeah, his story? That looks a lot more interesting. I bet he doesn't move his family to the middle of nowhere. Um... Goodbye, good hero. Hello, my baby. What? All right, tonight you get dinner out and you get the whole works. Oh, Sam is beautiful. What happened? All new contracts of beauty. We got everything that we asked for. 35, 36, 24. health and welfare plan. I don't even know. That's just my numbers. And best of all, if you stay with this company for 15 years, you get a whole year's salary as a bonus. Ooh. Classy perks. Oh, I guess the driver door used to work. <laughs> I know something we can really celebrate. You know that farm you've been talking about up in Oregon? It just it caught on fire. That's fine. <laughs> this isn't the life for you. You hate it here. I'd be crazy to hate it here. We're all I'm about to retire. It's fine. The day, the day <laughs> that I get a raise? I'd get crazy. No, I think it's now or never. What about my pension? You'd, you'd be willing to give up your... Your family and your friends and your, your home. And don't forget about Gus now. Gus is doing very, very well in school. Well, I'm a teacher. I'll teach him. Don't Honey, forget about I your don't dog. Think you quite either. understand. Now, this, this oh, farm is know. way out in the wilderness. There's not a neighbor for miles. It's way up in the wilderness where you pump your own water and you grow your own vegetables and nobody Gus can has look to look at the at you. sky and breathe fresh air. How do you know what you're saying? Uh. Oh, honey. I don't know what I'm getting into. I'm taking you to the best restaurant in town. Billigan's. Oh, Zoom in closer. Closer? Closer. Just a little. Alright. Delta. That's uh, my favorite game ever. Let's get to Hyrule Castle. I'm glad they really emphasize the chain noise. Really, Micah. Just to really cue on that noise. Either that, or they have the Ghost of Crystal's Pass dangerously close to the microphone. See, she keeps running backwards. That's why she's not getting any real movement going. So the man no need to run Oh, maybe I should show a little leg next time. Looking a little depressed, River. Where have you been? Over by the crick. Sound might catch you some fish or supper. You stay away from that crick. 
That crick will kill you. It's from Cabo. It's just a crick, Dad. And you're sitting there digging like an old dog. What? Your phone or something. How'd you know Why I had it down here? Stop and talk to me. Oh, now I know where they got that noise from in Tour yeah, de France right. from Kraftwerk. You're absolutely right, Gus. That's the only time you'll ever hear. You're absolutely right. All we gotta do is take it easy. And relax. <sighs> right. <Take it> easy. <laughs> Get my smokes. Until your mother gets back. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Winston's. Right. Nice. I'll tell you smooth what. Winston's. <laughs> First thing we've gotta do is make this place kinda livable. Really brighten it up. Why don't we build a, a fire on this old dirt floor? It's gotta be freezing in here. Really light up the place. The bone already. You see all the sweat? It's a first sign of hypothermia. Morning, which... I taught you how to build a fire. You just put your lips together you and... the fire went from the pile next to the house. You know, the, the pile of wood that we cut together, huh? Do you remember? You remember how to build remember? fire? I'm trying to build this relationship again. You put the firewood crisscross like this. Apple. So that the air can get in. And then, uh, you put open the steeple and there's all the people. Underneath. Tinder. Kindling to, to get the big wood caught on fire. He's not falling here. Let it go, dude. To cut up the kindling. You want to go get it? No. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, let's gonna go watch Star Trek real quick. Uh, uh. Is this an axe? This is wood. And <laughs> you know, I'm just not seeing all these animals that I'm hearing noises for. Now, where's the pig? Uh, I, I'm looking for the goat good. still. I show me you know how to build a fire. Cause uh, I just I taught know. you again. Aren't you forgetting something? Uh. Kindling. Uh, yeah, right. No. The chain out. cutter. Come on. We know that's a tool you, you need for it. I didn't say a damn thing, boss. Yeah, that'll kill off that kid real quick. Yeah, that's good. That's good. All right. Now, oh, wait a second. That's not. That's green. Everyone knows Ralph Nader doesn't burn. Go to quit and we'll go up and smoke a lot better. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and get it. Go get some of that blue wood. <laughs> Stupid kid. <laughs> Need axe. When you got rabies, you need time. Hey, look at that bald spot. We're looking there like a mirror. Let's see. That's it. I'll do some sweeping. Yeah, make this place livable. First, I'll take off my clothes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, first you want the axe, and then the broom. He meant kerosene, not olive oil. And I wonder what, wonder what the casting was like for this movie. One extremely sweaty man, one woman who can fit size three collar to play wife must be half the age of the old man, and one young, obnoxious kid who cannot act. Other than that, I mean, they really have had no one else in the movie besides the crazy lady on the roof, Guy with the cataracts. Oh yeah, don't forget they mailed the dog. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> 